Why isn't he disappearing, though? Usually they sink into the ground after you loot him. I don't know. Something's, something's bugged with the bug. That's all there is to it. Something's bugged with... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he bugged out. Oh, man, I kill me. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to work on uh, getting our habitation or a habitat um, upgraded with equipment and storage and that sort of thing. So let's talk a little bit about what the plan for that's going to be. Um, so in here, we have... Um, what, I, what I'm thinking about doing is this. We're going to put the kitchen here. Uh, we're going to put the... Uh, and this. And by the way, in case you're not don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about all this equipment here. So we got the climate control, the auctionator, water reclaimer, kitchen, uh, storage lockers, and chemistry table. Those things in particular. So the kitchen and the chem table we're going to put here and here. And then over here we're going to put the water reclaimer, the oxygen thingamadoodle, and the climate control thing here. And then... Out this door, I'm going to uh, eventually build a biodome so we can start doing crops. Um, these three spots will be storage. We're going to leave the back end open. Where is the back end? Yeah, we're going to leave this open for future expansion, possibly. And then uh, we'll have two more spots over here for storage. So that's the plan uh, for this episode today. Um, I want to also talk about a couple of things. I, I went through and, and did my points earlier. I'm I'm... You know, I mentioned a couple episodes ago that I'm I'm doing the points legit just because eventually we're gonna have to anyway. Um, and I had I had just a crap ton of points, so I went ahead and just you know spent them. But you can see by looking at what's highlighted here, uh, what we've specced into. So I'll just talk about that real briefly. Uh, we basically got all the way up to the mech, uh, but we will of course have to build the lab first before we can do that. Well, we're gonna go you know we're gonna go through hovercraft to get spaceship, but I don't think I'm gonna build the hovercraft because people are are saying that this thing's crap um, for two reasons. The, the nose of it gets caught on the landscape really easy and it burns through fuel like crazy. So we have to learn it to get to here, of course, but I'm not, I don't even think I'm going to make that at all. Uh, but I would like to make the rover because it's got massive storage. So the idea here is we take this out and we get like a big load of gas and bring it back kind of thing. Um, the ground assault vehicle is going to be fun and it has defenses. And of course, who doesn't want a mech, right? Uh, so that stuff's coming up in future episodes. Uh, we also spec'd into the barracks and the bed, but I didn't have points for the couches, so we'll do that later. And then we'll also have to come down into this tree to get the stuff for the biodome um, when the time comes. Okay, so uh, let's see. On this side, we have... Oh, wait a minute. Plumbing, indoor cooking. Oh, okay, so I guess I don't... How many points do I have? Only have two, so I guess I don't technically have points yet to do the cooking station, the indoor kitchen. So we'll just leave a spot for that until I can actually get the points into it. And you know, by the time I'm, I bring you guys back, I probably will have enough engineering points for that, anyways, because I have to do some more mining, uh, which we'll do off camera. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's see. On the science side, I, I finally took the points in the nomad living. Um, you know, uh, I built this without realizing that I hadn't put points into it. So now we've spent those points. So now it's legit. Uh, we went all the way up to the top here uh, for agriculture. Um, no, actually, it's, I don't think we... Did we learn this? I don't think we learned this yet. Or maybe we did. It's really hard to tell. Um, but we will if we haven't, right? And then uh, we, we got all the, way, all the way to the crab mix. So we're going we're gonna to play around with that too and have some fun with that. Um, do we need the... Uh, do we need to have the lab to make this, though? I don't know. We'll have, we'll have to figure that one out. Let's see. What else did we do? I think that's all we did in science. And then down in combat, uh, I learned the charge rifle, the bolt rifle, the hydrogen torch, and the ammo for that. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is mine up um, a bunch of ore. For some reason, most of my habitat walls are damaged. I don't have any idea why, but... Uh, wait a minute, what? Why doesn't it give me the ability to repair it? Oh, we just had a meteorite come down. Or, um, yeah, meteorite. Why are all these walls damaged? And why can't I repair it? It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Uh, this wall's not damaged, but these are. 
I don't know. This game is so buggy right now. I still love it, though. <laughs> I still love it. Holy crap, that landed close. All right, so anyway, I'm going to uh, mine up the resources that we need to build those things. Um, and then when I have everything together, I'll bring you back and we'll put them in. Now, I want to talk about one other thing real quick before I let you guys go. Um, so I've been considering um, ammunition and the pistol versus the assault rifle and so forth. I've heard that people are saying the pistol is actually the better weapon, and I tend to agree with that based upon uh, the stats. So if you look at... Uh, laser cell ammo. It does 35 damage plus or 10 and quick side note the plus or 10 I thought at first that that meant it added 10 damage to like uh, a weapon that was fully repaired and Subtracted 10 when it was fully broken. But I don't think that that that's what that means anymore um, Because it's also applied to laser cells which don't get damaged. So that's probably either just a random um, You know number it can it can do 10 up to 10 or you know, or 10 less damage uh, randomly, or maybe it has something to do with uh, resistances on mobs. But anyway, um, you guys may have already told me that in the comments too, but I, I haven't seen um, that. You've only, I, I've, today, uh, episode two has been released. So I'm a little bit ahead of you guys, uh, but that's just the way it is because I'm having so much fun playing this game. Okay, so anyway, uh, let me know if you guys know what the plus or 10 actually represents. At, as of now, it appears to me that it represents either a random increase or decrease in damage or it has to do with resistances uh, but this also has 25 percent critical hit which is really really good on top of that now on the downside making laser ammo is is pretty expensive because um, you have to you need a battery one gold and three steel which means that you also need five lithium two gold and one magnesium just to make the battery itself so those things together make this pretty expensive ammo um, you have, and you have six per shot. Now, if you look at the assault rifle ammo, um, it's very inexpensive to make. It's only two titanium and one steel. However, it does only 20 damage plus or five uh, with 20% critical hit, which isn't too bad, but still. Um, and it's a clip size of 15, which means you only get five shots per magazine because the assault rifle is a three round burst gun. So. Ammo's cheaper for the assault rifle, but it doesn't do as much damage or as much crit. Uh, so, you know, based upon that, it does appear to me like the pistol is the better of the two weapons, even though the ammo is a little more expensive. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about that, what your opinions are, what your experiences are, and so on. Okay. Um, I think, guys, that is it. So I'm going to let you go here, and I'm going to just go do a bunch of mining, get a bunch of resources, and make sure we have everything we need. Uh, to uh, to make the stuff that we want to make. You know what? I'm not going to do that because it's wasting ammo. Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to mention too. Um, when I got back on, my my I had remapped my reload key to, to O, uh, but when I got back on, it was back to R. So it seems like key remappings don't persist for some reason, which is um, not good. Uh, so anyway, all right, guys, I'll be back in a little bit, and we will put some stuff in the habitat. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back, and um, we are ready to put some stuff together here. Uh, so first of all, I have enough engineering points now to learn uh, the indoor cooking or the kitchen. So that's done. Uh, we also have two stat points, so let's put one into strength, and I guess we'll put one into stamina. Um, and then uh, I'll worry about the rest of those points later. Okay, so now what we're going to do is in this... I've built three storage lockers, as you can see. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in this one, I separated out all the resources that we need to make uh, the f uh, the five items that we need to make. So let's take all of that into our inventory. And so we're going to start uh, over here with the kitchen. Uh, so let's uh, hit F3, go to furniture, and uh, kitchen. Here we go. Just double tap F and boom, it's made. We don't even have to hold the key down. Okay, here we're going to make the chemistry station. Uh, chemistry table, rather. Okay, so let's grab that. Double tap F. Boom, there it is. Okay, this we're going to leave open so we can put a coupler there later. On this side, now, we're going to put the water reclaimer thingamadoodle. Um, if I hit the right key, that is. And so water reclaimer, double tap F, and there it is. And then here we're going to put the um, oxygen oxygenator. 
Yeah, we're going to put the oxygenator here. Okay, double tap F. There she is. Got to leave this open for a coupler. And then here we're going to put the uh, control climate controller, which we need for the, the biodome. Okay, so I don't think we'd actually interact with that at all. This, I'm assuming, fills us up with O2 when we need it. But this is awesome because now what we can do is get full hydration uh, from this. I don't know. Does it have a cooldown? It probably does. Re oh, a five-minute cooldown. Okay, cool. And I believe this will fill your water all the way up no matter, you know, how far it's down. So that's a nice addition uh, to our place. All right, here's our kitchen, man. Check this thing out. This is awesome. Uh, so we can make all the meats in here. And we can make steamed carrots. This gives a health bonus. A, a nutrition bonus of 50, which is actually really good, and five a quench bonus. Or Orsac egg? I don't know what an Orsac is. A cooked crab uh, egg. I I've never come across a crab egg. Crab stew? Ooh, yeah, we could make that. That's 25 health, 100 nutrition, and 15 quench. That's really good. Nat stew. Potato carrot. Skeliopod. 10, 50. Okay, yeah, so s snake. I've never seen a snake in this. That makes me a little little concerned. Um, soup and tumbo soup and meat stew, which is just alien meat. So, yeah, that's all, looks like all pretty decent stuff. That's a health bonus of 10, nutrition 75, and quench 10. Health bonus of 10 and 50. Okay, yeah. So, really cool. Now, you know, I have have a quite a bit of vegetables um, carrots, you know, from, that we've just been getting from the, the place. So let's grab those. Getting from the place, the beta mine. I, I could be a little more vague, right? Okay, baked potato gives 10 health and 50 nutrition. So it's exactly the same as grilled meat. Okay, I think we should save the potatoes, though, for, like, the stews. So if we went out and killed a crab, this would be a hundred nutrition bonus. And uh, 25 health, 100 nutrition, and 15 quench. What is this? 10 health, 50 bonus, and 5 quench. So this is the same as the meat, except for it gives us an, an additional 5 quench. So crab stew, yeah, man, we could go out and kill a whole crap ton of crabs and make crab stew. That's really good food. Um, we could also do the same with gnats and skeliopods because, you know, we kill all that stuff all the time. It looks to me, though, like the crab stew is the best food. It gives the most nutrition bonus out of everything here. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'm going to I think I'm going to save my potatoes and carrots for this. I'm going to save my potatoes and carrots for that. Now, of course, we'll, at some point we'll be able to start growing potatoes and carrots, but for now it's just what, you know, what we're getting from loot. Um, oh, okay. So here's the, here's the next thing now. So this, this is all I can put in here. Um, if we want to keep these walls open for expansion later, which we do. So now, um, I've got three, uh, storage lockers. So because this is kind of the kitchen and chemistry area, uh, this doesn't look any different than the one outside. It's the same stuff. So this is just, it's not like, so it's not like an improvement, right? Let's go look at that real quick. Oh, there's one more thing we can make in there that we can't make in here, but I don't know what it is. Oh, but the, then there's some things in here that we can't make in there. What? Why? Why? <laughs> Interesting. Maybe because the outside one needs exhaust or something? I don't know. Yeah, weird, man. Okay, well. Let's go look at this again for just a second. Yeah, there there was there was more glass things we could make out there, but okay, so this this can make a cubic zirconia, which that one can't. I don't know. Maybe we can also make a couple more of the dr the the drugs that that one can outside. I don't know. Anyway, okay. So that's that's that. Um, this doesn't do anything for us right now. This doesn't do anything for us right now. So as far as the storage goes, 
I'm actually thinking about, you know, right now this one has all the ingots and basically the ingots and the and the building materials in it. I'm thinking about moving this over to here and then moving all the food stuffs over to here so it's close to the, you know, the food and the, and the chem bench. Um, and then, you know, this is also, you know, kind of equipment. So it's like tape and and uh, rifle magazines, cloth, di our, our six diamonds, batteries, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is let's grab all of the food items out of here. But we're going to leave this stuff in here. And we're going to put here, let's just grab all of that. We'll put all the food stuff in here. And water, we can also count water amongst that too. Oh, by the way, I've, I've completely filled my water tank up outside, my big water tank. Um, so we're, we're doing good on water now. Um, I'm going to keep, uh, I want to keep that meat with me. Um, you know, because we're not going to have a ton of food stuff, I think what we could also do here uh, is maybe keep some of the extra water jars in there too. What, what happened to all the... Uh, what did I do with the, oh, I put them in here. Okay. So, oh man, I'm so heavy. I can't even move now. All right. Let's put, uh, the carrots and the potatoes in here. So yeah, this will be food, water, water jars for now. Um, <clears throat> this will be ingots. So is there anything left in here at the moment? No. Okay. So this will, this is going to be ingots and ores. Of course, I'm leaving the ores outside. Um, so that when I get, you know, two or more, we can, we can just process them. So we don't really need to bring the ores in here. Um, you know, and this is, this is going to fill up eventually, which is a nice problem to have. So maybe what we'll do is we'll make this exclusive for ores and, uh, <clears throat> we could probably put, yeah, we can put other building materials as well as equipment in here. At least for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's do a default sort. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're nice and organized. Now I still have stuff out here. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> um, wasn't expecting that. You die. I really hope the devs change it so we can reload our weapon when when we want to reload it without losing ammo. I really hope that's in the in the works for the future. So out here, this is pretty much containers. Um, let's grab. Uh, man, I don't even know why I'm hanging on to those things to be honest with you. But let, let's take them out of here. So right now, this is for containers. Now. I'm, I know I can, and I probably will, turn some of these barrels into just steel. Uh, but I want to have a fair amount of them so that we can, um, you know, bring a bunch of gas back. Um, so this this is going to continue to just to be bug parts for now, and this is kind of two, and we have some sand in there that we can turn into glass later. I've got extra water in here, so let's take let's take these in and put them in the food crate. And I guess we can put the other used tools in here for now. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm, well, yeah, we can, we can leave that in there too, I suppose. And then this is just, again, extra stacks of stuff. Oh, there's more food. Let's grab that. You know what? Since we get so much cloth, maybe what we'll do is we'll actually store the extra cloth out here. And then these are, oh, that doesn't go in there. Uh, these are just the extra ore ingots that I have left. So yeah, we'll, we'll just store cloth in here. I got a grabbed a little bit of bark too i don't not sure why i guess we need that for making the pharmaceuticals so um do i have anything in here did i check that one already what about in here yeah we got some more carbon in here and then uh yeah so i think that's everything here so that's extra tools whoops that's cloth these are ores this is sand and bug parts and this is bug parts too so, you know, we're going to make the crab mech. So, uh, you know, I don't know exactly what all it needs. So that's why I'm saving all this. But I was told in the comments by you guys that after I make the crab mech, we don't really need the bug parts for anything else anymore. So we'll kind of see how that goes. 
All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about our organization right at the moment. Um, this tank is completely full of water, so we're doing really good uh, with water. Let's go ahead and do a save point on our bed there. And uh, now we got a nice little habitat set up here, guys. It's a nice feeling, nice feeling to have. Okay, so um, I'm thinking that the next thing we should be shooting for is the labs so that we can start looking at making vehicles. Um, oh, we got a couple things to put away. Let's uh, let's pop that and that in there, and we'll put the waters in there. I'll keep <clears throat> I'll keep uh, this one in my inventory and this one. Got a, uh, an ingot there, and we'll put all other stuff in here for now. So we've got a full stack of assault rifle magazines. I might still make the assault rifle and just try it, just for the hell of it. I mean, you know, do it because we can kind of idea. But anyway, um, so what do we need to make the... Uh, the thingamadoodle, the laboratory. Oh, we need to make a barracks and a large satellite dish first. Ew. Okay. Well, I guess the barracks is the next thing we're going to make then. So that's the stuff we need for the barracks. And uh, steel, aluminum, plastic, rubber, copper, and lead. All right, let's grab that stuff and see if we have everything we need already in the right quantities. So we needed steel. Wait, did it say we needed... Um, let's look at it again. Yeah, it did say we needed rubber. Uh, but we didn't need tin rubber. Copper, lead aluminum oh we need 30 steel and 20 plastic okay wow yeah that's gonna require some stuff i probably have everything i need to make that so let me uh, get all that put together and then i'll bring you guys back and we'll set up our barracks be back in a bit all right guys we're back and we have everything we need for the uh, uh habitat or not the habitat <laughs> i'm sorry the um what the hell is it called barracks the barracks uh, so I guess the first thing we need to do, though, is we actually need to build a coupler. So let's take this wall out here. And then uh, for a coupler, we need rubber, aluminum, steel, and titanium. Okay, so let's grab that out of here. I have all the other stuff, um, but I don't have the titanium, so let's grab that. And any monsters out here? Don't see any. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, grab this. And go to coupler. Awesome. Okay. And now let's go to barracks. And attach our barracks. Oh, F. Sometimes it's F, sometimes it's the trigger button. All right. So we got our barracks in place. Very nice. Uh, on this other side, we're going to put the, the biodome um, when, as soon as we're able to do so. So what do we need to make the normal walls? We want... Here, let, let's actually think about something here for a second. So in the barracks... What all are we going to put in here? Because I'd like some windows in here if we can. Um, so we're going to put a shower, a computer desk, a couch, and a bed. Right? I think those are the four things that we put in here. Okay, so, so shower, computer desk, couch, and bed. So we could put windows in the corners. Yeah, that might look cool. Shower, computer, desk, couch. I think the couch has a TV in front of it. Um. Yeah, I think we put, let's put windows in the corners. Okay, so a window, windowed corner wall. Well, how come that doesn't require glass? Doesn't make sense. Corner wall. 
so there's only three options. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know why that doesn't require glass, but okay, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. I'll put one there. Uh oh shit. I chose the wrong one. Doggone it. Well, that was a waste of materials. Okay, so let's see. We're going to need steel and aluminum for all of these. And it looks like it only requires one steel for each thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to make eight more steel. And then I should I should have, you know, gobs of aluminum. So let, let me uh, get that steel made up and then uh, we'll resume. I might have some steel in here, actually, now that I think about it. Let's take a look. Uh, no, I don't have any steel there. I think we probably used it all. It shouldn't be in here because that's food and water and it shouldn't be in here. Okay, so I'm going to grab some... Let's see, we don't need copper or lead anymore or titanium. But what we need is iron and uh, magnesium to make the steel. And let's grab a full stack of aluminum just so we have enough. I'm sure we will, but that way we know for sure. Oh, let's take this crab out and see if we can make ourselves some crab soup. What? It's a tough mofo, man. He must be a, a mature crab. Good lord, are you gonna die, dude? Okay, he's running now, so he's about dead. There we go, level five soldier crab. Yep, those guys are, are tough. Um, did we get any... Oh, we got some gnat meat. So that one of the dishes lets us do gnat meat. How come he's not sinking into the ground? Uh, what the hell? We did loot him, right? Oh, yeah, but we didn't. Unfortunately, we didn't get any crab, crab meat. Why isn't he disappearing though? Usually, they sink into the ground after you loot him. I don't know. Something's, something's bugged with the bug. That's all there is to it. Something's bugged with... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he bugged out. Oh, man, I kill me. All right. Let's see. What were we doing? Oh, we we're working on our on our um, barracks here. Okay, let's get back to business. Okay, so... Um... Trying to decide if I want to make this a window also. I think I do. I mean, you know, it's not that expensive, so we can always change it later if we need to. That way we have some nice light in here. Okay, so here again, we're going to do um, bed, shower, computer desk, and then we might actually end up putting the TV along here instead, or the couch, because it's got a TV with it. Um, but anyway, all right, so I'm going to um, make sure I have all the materials for that stuff, and then I'll come back and we'll set up our barracks. Okay, guys, we're back, and I have all of the stuff assembled uh, for all the furniture that we need. So it's basically these four rows of items here. So let's grab everything out of here, and this will get our barracks all set up for us. Okay, so let's uh, start here. <clears throat> Excuse me, start here, and uh, we want to get our. Uh, I think we just go into F3 menu for this. Okay, so we're gonna put the couch and TV here. Um, yep, confirm build. Okay, and then um, we're gonna put. Uh, let's put the bed here. Furniture bed. You can't rotate that. Okay, so that's where it goes. All right. And then probably makes sense to put the shower uh, next to the bed. 
So F3 furniture shower. Awesome. And then we're going to put the computer table here. Excellent. And then if I want, if I feel uh, the need to do so, which I probably will, <laughs> I can put a, another uh, storage uh, thing here. So uh, another storage locker. We need, need I need 15 steel and three rubber. I'm not going to do that right now, but um, you know we can do that later if we feel the need to do so. Okay, so what does the shower do for us? Activate. Oh, it gives us an agility buff. Okay. What exactly does an agility buff do? This gives us a stamina buff. So that's nice. Uh, this gives us a save point, and I'm assuming it gives us a little health. Like the one in the in the in the dome thing does. I'm not really sure about that though. It's kind of funny when you enter the the coupler here. You can hear the outside noise. Um. All right. I'm feeling pretty good about this, you guys. This is looking great. I, I love the the setup in here. You know, one thing that's really odd that I I didn't notice until you know when I was working around off camera is, you know, this it, this is the main entrance to the habitat, but it's not. It's not, it's at a diagonal with the tiles on the floor, which I thought was kind of weird, but I mean, you know, it, it works and I think it's looking great in here. So um, we're gonna just save this for now. Um, that's an, a future, a potential future expansion if we decide to do so. Uh, this is gonna be the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the biodome. Uh, what do we need to make that, by the way? So if we go to structures and biodome, we have all the prereqs, so we just need steel, glass, plastic, and rubber. Uh, so let me get all of that together, and we'll, we might as well pop this in too. So we'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put a coupler here. And then we should be able to put the biodome in. Structure, biodome, let's back up just a little bit, and boom. All right, we got it. Um, I think we could probably just leave that rock wall there, because I'm, I'm guessing the smaller creatures could still come under. Oh, I almost got stuck. Could still probably come through there, maybe? I don't know. They haven't... I haven't noticed them come through here, though, now that I think about it, so... Mm, yeah, we'll see. I, I might end up removing those. Well, I am actually going to remove them eventually because we're going to enclose the... You know, we're going to expand the perimeter, basically, with some walls and or electric fences or a dome or something at some point in the near future, so... All right, very cool. So, I think we have um, built everything that we want except for the you know we'll have to put some some uh, some bins in here for growing food and all that but um, we want to build the um, uh, whatchamacallit the lab we want to build the lab so let's take a look at that really quick structure and laboratory which oh still requires a large satellite dish um, utility large satellite Okay, a large satellite dish will improve your radar sight near its radius of effect, depending on the design, will allow sight of creatures, minerals, or enemy players. So I guess that feeds into my little handheld map thing. Uh, so we need steel and circuit board. All right, I don't know if I'm going to have enough uh, stuff to make steel, uh, that much steel again. Plus we're going to need steel for the, I'm sure we're going to need steel for the thing. We got plenty of iron, but we're, we're really low on magnesium. So, all right, well, I'll tell you what I think we'll do. We're, we're probably about out of time anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, and then I'm going to just keep, you know, farming up materials until I have enough materials to build the satellite dish and build the laboratory, uh, which we're probably going to... Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to put out that way, but, you know, facing outward... And then, um, or, I don't know, we might, maybe we'll put it over there. We'll see. 
Uh, the thing about the laboratory is that you need you need to make sure that the front end of it is ha has quite a bit of clearance because whenever you build something, it pops it out in front. And if you have like a building in the way, it'll put the the vehicle or whatever it is you're building on top of the on top of whatever that structure is. So it's kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, I'll gather all the materials I need to, to make those. So hopefully, what'll happen in the next episode is we'll be able to make the laboratory. And we'll be able to make uh, uh, our first vehicle or vehicles. I also would like to get, you know, the the mining robot because that, that guy can really go to town on getting ores for us and stuff too. So that's that's the tentative plan for the next episode. And guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.